Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and on this channel we answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answer they need from an employment attorney. Not today though, today's a public service announcement. And we're going to give you a quick 30 second summary of the entire video so you can stop watching if you want to. Two things you need to take away from this video. Don't post on Glassdoor anymore. They might share your real name. Two, I pounded three Cadbury eggs today because I'm having a day. That's all. That's it. You can stop watching now. Um, I mean, there'll be more. I'm going to give the details, but but you've got what you need at this point. Um, <laughs> the eggs were amazing. Apparently now they fill Cadbury eggs with fudge. That's way better than that white sugary stuff they used to fill Cadbury eggs with. I was blown away. On the glass door. Um... <clears throat> Oddly enough, uh, you guys love Glassdoor. I, I see people talk about Glassdoor all the time in comments. I hear clients talk about Glassdoor. I hear people who uh, end up not bringing claims being say that I'm going to go post on Glassdoor instead so at least people know about this employer. But if you're one of the people who view this channel who are not familiar with Glassdoor, here's the idea. People go to this website, glass, glassdoor.com, I believe, and they post reviews of their employer anonymously. At least that's what it used to be. And generally those reviews get pretty wild because they're anonymous and humans, they don't fear retribution, get wild. Just 100% of the time. That's, that's why people on the internet say wild things. Um, and, and they just, they're like, oh, you don't know who I am. I don't, doesn't matter what I say to you. I'm not responsible for it, and, and I don't have anything to fear from it, right? Um, which is just human nature. No harm, no foul. That's how humans react to the internet. That dynamic, where people go post nasty things about their employers on Glassdoor, has led to a whole bunch of litigation where certain employers have tried to find out the identities of the people posting. Now, Glassdoor has done an okay job of defending those users in the past. And in fact, it seems like they work with the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which you can think of as the good guys on the internet. Uh, they do things like they fight net neutrality, stuff like that. But the EFF, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, has, uh, I think, handled a number of litigations to protect user data on Glassdoor to keep things anonymous. All of which is very inspiring and wonderful. I think it's great. Yeah, people say nasty things. Horrible, horrible things in Glassdoor, and some of those things might not be true. And that is unfortunate. But having the ability to speak poorly about your employer is necessary and is kind of dangerous in our society because if you do that and use your real name, they could come after you in certain circumstances like defamation claims, disparagement issues. Like there's a whole bunch of litigation. Also, let's face it, they could just fire you if they haven't already, right? There's a lot of things keeping folks from being honest about their employers in our current uh, state of the, uh, the union, so to speak. So it's important. It's an important service. Apparently, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Glassdoor some time ago purchased an app called Fishbowl. Fishbowl is a stillborn version of LinkedIn. It's like a networking app. And that's saying something because LinkedIn is stillborn as well. It's just like not, uh, listen, I've got thousands upon thousands of LinkedIn connections. And as far as I can tell, it's just inviting people to cold call me endlessly to manage what little wealth I have or to um, urge me to, to, to pay them for more clients. I'm like, we don't, we don't want any more clients. We'll, we'll pay you to, to make some of the clients stop. <laughs> calling um but that's that's like linkedin is of course ridiculous and fishbowl is just as far as i can tell a worse version of linkedin um but Fit glassdoor bought it and there's some level of integration and they changed their uh policies so now if you execute their terms of service it will say that if they get information from a third party read as fishbowl but really anywhere or like Facebook, because sometimes you can log into these sites with Facebook or Twitter, you know, things like that, Google credentials, right? If they get your real name, 
and information about you from some party, including, you know, any of the previously mentioned, they can go ahead and populate it across their platform. So, if you, a couple of years ago, got angry and posted a long three paragraph diatribe about how your supervisor was banging out Tabitha in in the uh, in the supply closet and uh, when Tabitha messed up her project it was reassigned to you to fix and it hurt you on your performance review and that was only done because your supervisor just couldn't stop let's not get too wild here couldn't stop going after Tabitha and uh, Tabitha consented we hope uh, probably Tabitha has her own sexual harassment claim but you went and posted all that might be true it might be not true right we don't we don't know you were just posting on the internet and we don't know you we don't live your life we don't know you, what's in the your hard hearts um you know it just it could be true it could not be true but um you know a couple of years have passed since then and you've changed employment a couple of times and now you're on the search you're on the search for a new job and you upload your resume to some glass door service or you're working with fishbowl to network for business networking so you can find positions and uh you you give them your information your real name all the deeds glassdoor could just go ahead and say okay your previously anonymous post now has your real name on it and if somebody looks at that post and says what the what gary gary says that i'm sleeping with tabitha well, I don't know if it's true or not, but your supervisor might be suing. Tabitha might be suing. The employer might be suing. Like, there's all kinds of things that could go on, right? And that's not cool. Because nobody really gave you the chance to have a voice in that. I mean, I guess they're going to say, well, it's in the terms of service now. But those are click wrap agreements. And nobody reads those. Those are legal fictions. They're effective. They're often enforceable. But, but they're fiction. Nobody reads them. Nobody really agrees to them. There is a... Uh, Power disparity between the parties entering into that agreement. It is not a well-negotiated agreement. It's not negotiated at all. In fact, it's not even read 99.9% of the time, right? So, like, saying you agreed, mm, but did you? Did you, though? Mm, right? Um, so, the takeaway here is whatever you do, don't give any information to Glassdoor at this point. Now, if you did give information to Glassdoor and they've somehow attached your real name, it seems from the article, which I will link in the doobie doo down below, it seems that deleting your account is an, in and of itself insufficient to get that down. Uh, there is a process to delete all your data that could take up to 30 days. You may need to engage in that process. However, that is a horrifyingly fraught 30 days because now if anybody logs back in, or Googles themselves, or checks out the glass door review you put up, or whatever it is in the next 30 days, well, they're probably going to screenshot it. And so, although you did get it down, potentially, you're still at risk, because they know you posted it, and it's attached your real name, and now they can come after you because they have evidence of it. That's very bad. That's a very bad thing. Now, there's some other stuff in the story, like, also... Glassdoor is just populating people's profiles with like completely fake information. Like some guy was working in the U.S. and it was like, ah, oh, he's working in London. There was, he never worked in London. There was no reason to think that ever. And they just randomly posted that. And that's probably just their code being wonky. Um, you know, it, it's weird that Glassdoor is um, trying to expand from what it was, right? Uh, it wasn't that huge, you know? Uh, their big thing was like, oh, we offer the Glassdoor Awards. Like, we, you're a great employer. Ba ba ba, Wegmans. Yay. And listen, many people, many people have negative experiences with Wegmans as employees, but many other folks don't, thanks to the tuition assistance program. And if you're not familiar with Wegmans, well, get familiar. Get on my level, because that is a good grocery store. That, if you're from upstate New York, you know. You know. Now, that being said, I've heard some, certainly, you know, every employer has really unfortunate tales. So I can be passionate about the products of Wegmans and the Wegmans sub. 
and the Wegmans sushi. But the Wegmans brand buffalo sauce with Josh and Allen? Mm -hmm. That being said, that being said, uh, listen, every employer's got its failings, right? Um, I digress. Be careful, Glassdoor. If this video is helpful, like, subscribe, comment down below. Helps our channel to grow. I made, I spent yesterday making like three 15 minute videos. And because of the privacy settings that randomly switched on my microphone, they all recorded without any audio. And I did not discover that until tonight when I thought those videos were going to start uploading tomorrow. And that makes me sad. Take care, everybody.